Yes, I'm back in Julio's Kitchen. Vancouver is back with you guys. Thank you for being with me. And tonight, well, before anything, today was a very, very special day. Uh, you guys that follow me on Facebook, you probably know that I presented my new set of legs. Thank you, God. Thank you, Canada. And thank you to Tony, uh, my prosthetic uh, practitioner. He makes my leg. Thank you, Tony. Yes. Uh, anyways, tonight's dinner is just very simple. Uh, I always say simple because it's, it's basics. Uh, chicken wings. Chicken wings with Julio's type of sauce style. So we're going to use garlic, uh, ketchup. We're going to use also, uh, what's it called? A lot of uh, honey. Oh, where's my honey, honey? Where's my honey? Right here. So, going to use honey and everything. So now this wings it's a probably two pounds right here it depends you know how much many people are you cooking for so this is what we're gonna use I am going to season uh, this wings because they're gonna go into the oven okay and it's simple this is it salt probably a gram and a half of salt we are going to use black pepper same amount So this is it, uh, I am going to mix this up and this is going into the oven for about half an hour. Half an hour, why? Because I am going to, uh, um, see I'm going out of the camera, sorry guys, well, you know, you know this is Julio's, uh, Julio's Kitchen production, it's not that up upgrading, so bear with me. So this is it, once everything is just... Uh, Evenly, you know, the salt and pepper is evenly around the wings. That's it. And if you like, guys, you know, uh, I, I, I use your favorite spice, okay? You know, this is the time. Okay, here we go. So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer these wings. Here, I'll give you another look. There you go. So, I'm going to transfer these wings right here to uh, onto this tray. One second, please. And they'll be ready to go into the oven. So, so this is all it is. Look, like very nice and organized. And you put them on the tray and uh, on the uh, baking sheet. And that's it. I'm gonna do that. And this is gonna go into the oven, guys, for probably about half an hour, right? Like I say, half an hour. And then. I'm going to flip them and I'm going to put another half hour. It depends how you like uh, your wings. Uh, the, but the chicken have to be cooked, obviously. But if you like them really, really crispy or just uh, done or well done. Okay, so I'll show you. And then the next I'll be doing the sauce. Julio special uh, garlic, honey garlic sauce. Okay, just before the wings go into the oven, this is I want you to take a look at it. See, look at this. It's simple. Just... Uh, uh, like I said, salt and pepper, and in the oven it goes for 350 degrees, 30 minutes, take them out, I'm going to show you, flip them, another 30 minutes, and if you like them crispy, crispy, leave them there for a little bit longer, okay? I'll be back with you with the sauce. Okay, okay, yes, I'm back, and I am going to create that special sauce. And this special sauce, uh, the ingredients are, uh, I am going to move you right here, these are my ingredients, guys. Uh, see the basic wings you have honey garlic right here honey garlic wings or you have barbecue whatever you can make barbecue sauce with ketchup and blah 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 I am going to combine honey garlic hot sauce and ketchup so I will we will create a different uh, sort of uh, sauce it's Julio's Julio's kitchen Julio style Julio sauce so here we go. So, we have a big, uh, pot right here. Butter. Okay? Don't be scared. There's a lot of wings over there. Uh oh See? It's too hot. Remove it. Right away. Remove it from the heat. So, you can see right now the butter is probably 50, 60 grams. Now, garlic. Okay, we're going to do this sort of fast because the butter, you don't want the butter to... Um, to burn 
Okay, so garlic probably three to four cloves of garlic. Okay, in there, we just kind of let this uh, uh, the garlic to release that oil, that aroma. Okay. As, as soon as you can start smelling that garlic being uh, cooked, it means that it, the uh, cooking process is already started, like right away. So there we go. This is a simple sauce, guys. Try it. Uh, uh, you love it. Very tasty. And with the wings, uh, you can never go wrong. So this is it. We're not going to burn the garlic too much because uh, uh, we want it like sort of fresh on the wings. So next is the, probably 200 ml of ketchup. Yes. Look at that garlic. See? I told you. So we have the ketchup going right there. And if you think guys that you put in too much garlic, don't put too much garlic. I mean, it, it, it's what you want, right? It's, it's, it's your taste. If you put in uh, less ketchup, put more ketchup, more sauce, right? More ketchup, more sauce. More of anything is more of everything. So here you go. So it's cooking, and because this is a, a very uh, fast sauce, quick to make, we're gonna add the honey right here. It's probably like uh, 75 ml of, of honey. Yeah, you, you do it at your taste, okay? I'm just showing you the tricks. All right. See that, uh, uh, the consistent right now is changing, right? Because the elements have different uh, bases. They're made of different uh, uh, sort of food types. So there we go. Look, look how nice is this. So this, this is already a huge steak. And uh, yeah, we let it cook for a bit. And now we are going to add one the best. Uh, we're just gonna let it cook just just for one, not even one minute, just thirty seconds. Okay. And here we go. Main import, main, 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 main. This is the main ingredient. Yes, we have right here, Valentina salsa picante, spicy sauce, Valentina. Uh, this this sauce, guys, is it's it's spicy, but it's not like killer spice. It's it's more like sort of vinaigrette spicy. It's like uh, if if the other one more uh sort of the same type of this is the one called uh, Frank's uh, hot sauce. That's why it's, it's it's a more common sauce they use for hot wing. But anyways, I'm gonna use Valentina, probably uh probably 100 mil. Yeah, like I said, if you want a spicy, hey, I had the whole bottle, right? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. So, here we go. So, look at that sauce. It's happening. Look at that sauce. Isn't that beautiful? There's honey, there's garlic, hot ketchup. And this is all sauce, guys. You can, you know, try it at home. Try with what you have. This is almost ready i am going to taste it right now turn the heat low okay like I, I always repeat myself when i when you're making sauces work with low heat avoid the burning of it okay so there you go we're gonna i'm gonna taste it see what it tastes like mm. wow that honey that garlic that ketchup, yes, ketchup does everything, isn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is gonna be ready. Jen is gonna let it cook for another like uh, probably a minute, minute and a half more, and it's ready for our wing. See how fast it is. But another trick. There you go. Julio's kitchen is about trick. Look at the consistent. 
is very uh, sort of thick. So you want to get rid of the thickness a, a little bit on sauces. You add liquid, run. So we're going to add a little bit of water. Not much. You just want to change the consistency. Make it like more gravy on the wings. Like, yeah. More all over. And because it's been cooking, see? Okay, so this is it. Uh, I'm not adding any salt and any pepper because our wings are already salt and pepper. You have to like be on the lookout of, you know, what, what, what's been added right to the food. So I'll see you in a bit. Uh, this is going to be here for another a minute, minute and a half. And I'll come back with the, because uh, uh, I'm going to have on the size zucchini sticks with uh, uh, baked zucchini sticks. That's the basic uh, recipe. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, yes, zucchini sticks. I'm going to bake them. I'm going to put them in the oven. Okay, the hot wings are in the oven, remember. So this is just simple. Uh, uh, zucchini right here. Uh, wash, wash your vegetables and every food you eat these days or every day, whatever, before. But now we have to be aware of, of, of what we're eating. Okay, so this is it. It's nice and clean. So for zucchini sticks, you want to like a bite size, like, you know what I mean? Like probably this way. You make a nice on the plate. So cut it uniformly. There we go. And you just make sure that, you know, don't even. I'm going to make uh, the whole thing because see, look, perfect. So there you go. You put this aside. And here it is. It's nice. When you catch vegetable, guys, uh, find the edge, find the way, find the, you know, it's just elaborate your own style, okay? So my style, I mean, zucchini steak, so I supposed to be simple. Look, I will just cut it, cut it like this. And do the, but yeah, but I have it right here, you know, so I can decide which way do I go right here. There, look. It's a nice bite size. Look at this. This is what we want. So we do it, and you do that, and I'm going to do the whole uh, zucchini. Okay? And when I come back, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, do the uh, breading. Okay? So this is it. This is going to be our zucchini stick. Okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. And now I am going to take the wings out of the oven. Remember, 30, 30 minutes. And here it is, look at them. Very nice, very nice, but they're not ready yet. What we're gonna do, we're gonna flip them one by one, and this is all I'm gonna show you, okay guys? 30 minutes, okay? And then flip them, one, one side is cooked and the other one's not cooked, remember that. So right here, we're just gonna do this with all of them, and they're gonna go back into the oven for another 30 or 40 minutes. It depends how you like your wing, crispy or just well done, all right? Stay with me. Okay, now I'm back, guys, with the uh, breading for our zucchini sticks right here, okay? So these are three elements. Breadcrumbs right here. We have three eggs. I'm going to beat them. And we have uh, flour. Hey, keep an eye on this one. This is corn flour. It's not regular flour. This is my style. This is Julio's kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to have fun. So anyways, for the breading, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to give some really good taste of this breading uh, right here. And for that, all I'm going to use, guys, is this. Garlic powder, okay? You measure your elements. Garlic powder, probably uh, 30, 40 grams. I'm going to use also Parmesan cheese. A lot of people put Parmesan cheese, lots of it. Yes, cheese, guys, come on. You know my opinion about cheese. And Mexican chili or any other type of chili you have. Okay, this is the breading. This is going to be the taste that the uh, zucchini sticks will have. Okay, so make sure it's mixed all together. There we go. And we are going to work with this. So that's our breading right here. And we are going to beat the egg right here. Okay. So make sure everything is, is, is nice and mixed right here. 
and they're going to go in on a, a baking sheet same as the wings baking sheet a little bit of butter on the bottom because you don't want nothing to stick okay so there we go okay i think we got it all all right so you got the eggs ready and the flour now i am going to show you the next step will be when I am ready to put them on the baking sheet, all right? Okay, so this is it. We're back. And remember, this Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver, Julio forgets things sometimes. You know, it's hard. I mean, to be it, nothing is out of perfection. So what we forgot about here, it's just a little bit of salt and pepper, okay? So we're going to add it. Add a little bit of something, you know. Max, the bread, okay, because there's no salt, there's no pepper, a little bit of salt, okay, oh, that tastes good, and mix it up, there you go, okay, here we go, this is the messy, this is the messiest part, okay, so we have our flour over there, we have our egg, and we have a breadcrumb. I will try to do it with my the, my tongue, okay? And all it is is this flour first. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands. Make sure you get all the flour there. There you go. And then egg right here inside. Make sure you get the egg all over the uh, that like zucchini stick. Once the egg is done right here. Drain it and on to the bread cup. And look at that. Make sure that every everything is covered. And that's it. Look at this, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna bring you right here because I want you to look at this. Alright, so this is my baking sheet right here. It gets dark because of the reflection of the uh, the foil. So this is it. They all gonna go like this. Like I say, it's dark because of the reflection of the uh, foil paper. I'm going to try to uh, sort of take it away from it. Like, hold on. There you go. So here you go. I'm going to do one more so you can uh, get the idea. Okay? Bear with me, guys. Because, you know, this is it. This is Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. This is Julio's Productions. <laughs> so this is it. I'm going to do one more, like I say, so you can... Have a good idea what the process is on this zucchini stick. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm set. So I bring my egg back, and we have a breadcrumbs. We have our flour. Okay, one more zucchini stick right here. To the flour. Get a close look. Yeah, just flour all over it. There you go. Take it out of the flour. Bring it into the egg wash. And then dry it in, drain it, dry, uh, dry it, yeah, or drain the, the liquid. And here we go. See, little processes that uh, uh, ones that we don't cook, we think that this is like, oh, rocket science. It's not rocket science. Okay? okay, so this goes on the baking sheet right here. And we get the mold that. This is going to go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, guys. Thank you for being with me. And I'll see you with the hot wing and zucchini sticks at play. Okay, so the breading is done. So you can see how the uh, zucchini sticks look like. And this is it. They're going into the oven for uh, not even 10 to uh, 12 minutes. Okay, I'll see you next when everything is ready. Okay, here is uh, zucchini sticks are out of the oven. Look at that. Nice and brown on the outside, very tender on the inside. I'll see you now. Yes, I will see you later right now. Stay with me. Okay, everyone, here is this is the finito Julio's wings. Honey garlic with some type of magic sauce that you can see in the procedures. And over there, oh my God, look at this. Uh, zucchini sticks, they look so delicious. Right in the middle, we have some uh, chipotle sauce. And right here are wings. Oh, I can try. Can't wait to try them. 
I will show you how I'm going to garnish my wings right here because it is very important garnish it. So we all do is just like this. A little bit of pasta in the side, right? Know what I mean? And what else? Oh! Sesame seeds. Look at the beauty! Woo! And this is it. Thank you for being with me. Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Always uh, my pleasure of being here with you. I got my drink right here. Cheers, everyone. And wait till tomorrow because I'm ruffling my giveaway basket. Look at this beauty. This is a very nice appetizer, guys. You know, you cook for your friends, cook your family, cook for everyone you want to cook. The important thing is to cook. I'll see you next time on What's For Dinner, Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver.